And this church in Thessalonica was part of the first fruits, the, one of the early first churches planted. Not the first, but one of the first ones. And it's a, a form of first fruits. And we talked about first fruits and giving several months ago, the idea of giving God our first and best when it comes to our, our income. And we want to trust him with those things. But when God gives first fruits, like these are the first fruits to God to himself, like a gift to himself. This is the first group of people who are experiencing the salvation of God through Christ. That's a pretty cool thing. I know it's rainy outside, but y'all a little drowsy on that one. The first ones to experience the grace of God, not the first, but the first group of them. Amazing to be part of that group. These first churches in existence were God's first and best given for our good because he has used that church to continue to reproduce churches over the years and throughout and across cultures for years and decades and centuries to today. We're, we're gathered in a church family. I don't care about the building. We are a family of believers, brothers and sisters in Christ. Can, can, I mean, what else has survived 2,000 years? What nation in power survived? To the, none have. And yet the church, through all the difficulties, and when people have hated it and tried to kill and destroy the church, weren't able to do it. In fact, how did they say it? That the blood of the saints was the seed of the church? Like, the more they shed the blood of those that trusted in Christ, the more people trusted in Christ? How does that make any sense? Except it's a miracle of God choosing us and pouring out his grace on us that would trust him. 